Will Jaron Hall of the Vikings become the most recent average quarterback to excel against the Green Bay Packers? In April, Tommy DeVito wasn't considered worthy of being drafted by anyone in the NFL. However, the undrafted rookie quarterback for the New York Giants lit up the Green Bay Packers three weeks ago and received the NFC Offensive Player of the Week award. Following DeVito, Tampa Bay journeyman Baker Mayfield earned the same honor one week later by achieving the first ever perfect passer rating, 158.3, for a visiting quarterback at Lambeau Field. In the subsequent week, Bryce Young of Carolina, who was struggling through a challenging rookie year, achieved career highs in passing yards and passer rating against the Packers' weak defense. Could Jaron Hall be next? Minnesota announced on Thursday that Hall, a rookie fifth-round draft pick, would be the starting quarterback in the crucial game on Sunday night between the 7-8 Packers and Vikings. Given the recent struggles of Green Bay's defense, Hall might be the next average quarterback to perform well against them. Justin Jefferson, Minnesota's star receiver, expressed confidence in Hall, stating, I feel like Jaron is definitely a great quarterback. He has some potential to spark this offense up if we put him out there to play. Lately, Every quarterback facing the Packers has had a successful outing against Joe Barry's underperforming defense. The challenge for Green Bay is to prevent Hall from following suit. Hall, who is six feet tall and weighs 207 pounds, may lack the size and arm strength to throw into tight windows, but his accuracy and ball placement are excellent. Additionally, he possesses the ability to impact games with his running skills. In previous seasons at BYU, he ran for 657 yards, and the Packers need to limit his damage in the open field. Green Bay's head coach, Matt Lafleur, acknowledged Hall's talent, saying, He's obviously a very talented thrower, and he's got a lot of mobility. So, that's something that we've struggled with quite a, a bit are those mobile quarterbacks, being able to break, contain, and pick up yardage with their legs, so I know that we're going to have our hands full just defending him. Hall previously started in Minnesota's Week 9 game in Atlanta, completing 5 of 6 passes for 78 yards and rushing for 11 yards. However, he left the game due to a first-quarter concussion and hasn't played since. With Mullins throwing four interceptions last week, Minnesota's head coach Kevin O'Connell decided to make the switch before the crucial game. Despite Hall's lack of NFL experience, he will have the support of dynamic pass catchers Jefferson, Jordan Addison, and K.J. Osborne. The absence of the Packers' number one cornerback... Jairi Alexander, who was suspended for conduct detrimental to the team, adds to the challenge for Green Bay. Green Bay's defense has struggled in recent weeks, with four of the last five quarterbacks they faced exceeding a passer rating of at least 100.2. The Packers need to address this issue on Sunday, or Hall might become the latest unimpressive quarterback to shine against them.